Well, hey there, Canada. It's your Uncle Clark, and I'm real excited about today's countdown video, the top seven Canadian country curtains. You ready? Let's go. Coming in at number seven to start our list is Coulter Wall. Now, if you don't know who Coulter Wall is, you, you, you really should. I mean, I deeply regret not putting him in my previous top 12 list on my favorite Canadian musicians because the man has the voice and songwriting capabilities of all of Johnny Cash's children, grandchildren, and, you know, great-grandchildren combined. And as a bonus, he has some of country music's finest set of country curtains. While most men in his industry are, you know, too afraid to go against the grain of today's current short hair trend, uh, Coulter Wall throws caution to the wind and wears his country curtains with the rugged confidence and pride of a young Billy the Kid. And for that, he has my respect. Okay then, number six, Paul Brandt. Now, Paul's curtains have uh, sadly been shorn off as of late, but before that tragic accident happened, I have to assume that was an accident, right? He rocked some of the most tasteful and refined country curtains our nation has ever seen. Not too short and not too long, Paul's curtains could constantly be seen waving a friendly, hey there, out from underneath his cowboy hat. Elegant, dignified, and clearly well-conditioned like the man himself, Paul's curtains were always there for him, giving him a gentle pat on the back after a job well done or quietly whispering a word of encouragement in times of doubt. Through thick and thin, Paul and his curtains had an unspoken admiration for each other, and for that, they have my respect. Okay, number five, Jacob Ardow. The talented half of On the Bench, Jacob's curtains have the length and unkempt look of a homeless poodle that rival any of the worst biker gang haircuts to ever come out of the 70s. Maintaining his curtains, or lettuce, is clearly an afterthought for Jacob, but I suppose that can be forgiven due to his consistent and savant-like focus on Canada's game of hockey. Helping future and current NHLers master the finer points of the game, Jacob and his drier than an Arizona gravel pit curtains are one of the most recognizable icons in all of hockey, and for that, he has my respect. All right then, number four, Ole Postonen. The constantly injured half of the On the Bench Boys is a Bangladesh pro hockey player, national treasure, Canadian icon, twine tickling, rope ripping, biscuit ripping beauty, Tandy Terminator wizard of puck. He is also the proud owner of the greasiest set of dark country curtains I have ever laid my eyes on. Lettuce is the term the boys use to describe their curtains, and Ole's lettuce is the kind of lettuce you'd find in the produce section at the end of the day as the store is closing and they only have one left because everyone already picked the good ones. His curtains, or lettuce, are made even greasier by his mustache, or lip sweater, as he calls it, and for that, he has my respect. Okie dokie number three. Wayne Gretzky. Yeah, Wayne is not only known as the great one for his hockey records alone, no siree Bob. Number 99 is equally known for his record-breaking curtains. I mean, just look at them. The volume, the, the feathers, the flow. No athlete in history has elevated the cultural status of country curtains the way Mr. Gretzky has. Quite possibly the most famous Canadian of all time, Wayne Gretzky has been putting on a clinic in country curtain execution and maintenance since well before his NHL debut way back when in 1979. And for that, he has my respect. All right, number two. You may not expect this, but Ryan Smith. Yeah, I never once had to actually look for Ryan Smith when he was out on the ice for the Oilers. I could just see at all times his long and heavenly curtains flowing in the wind as he skated up and down the ice with the grace of a golden unicorn triumphantly charging into battle. One of Edmonton's favorite sons, Ryan's curtains are widely considered to be one of Alberta's most valuable commodities in a three-way tie with both oil and gas. Few men in history have had the wisdom, courage, and confidence to wear their country curtains as long as Ryan has, and for that, he has my respect. All right, number one. Now, who could possibly have more beauty country curtains than the guys I've already mentioned on this list? You ready for this? That's right, Chad Kroger. This is probably the one and only time that Chad Kroger will be in any of my top of anything lists. But if I'm being honest, the man does have some of the most 
notorious country curtains that not only Canada but the world has ever seen. Long, blonde, and full of an entire can of hair mousse and quite possibly perm, Chad Kroger's curtains were as bold and memorable as curtains can be. Why, legend even has it that much like the biblical character Samson, whose ability to kill lions and bring down buildings because of the power that resided in his long and glorious curtains, Nickelback's mysterious and unfathomable ability to produce hit after repetitious college bro hit was due solely to the power that resided in Chad's legendary curtains. And for that, he had, well, all right, you know, one step at a time, let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves.